Hey guys, welcome to see our entity designer Chetan here and in this tutorial we are going to model one of the part of the hard surface character. So now let's get started. To make a cyborg spine you need to add a cylinder and vertex should be 24. And now then you need to go to the edit mode. After that you need to select two edges and deselect four edges and you will get this kind of structure like this. So just from the both side. So you will get this kind of structure. Then you need to move them along the z-axis like this and after that you need to delete the center face because we don't need it so just delete that center face and then select the bottom words and then scale it down like this then we will create the simple basic form for that spine and then select these edges Just delete that uh, bottom face if you want to keep it then you can otherwise it's deleted and then select these faces and then scale them along the x and y axis so you can press s and then shift z to scale them only along the x and y axis and then you need to select these edges and then scale them along the x and y axis not in the z axis so if you want to scale in the particular axis then you need to press s and then that axis key like Z, X and Y anything and if you want to scale from the any two axes then the press shift another X which uh, from which you want to you don't want to scale then create a bevel kind of shape on these edges like I have added one edge at the center and then just need to add the bevel then add a solidify modifier and give the proper thickness for that solidify modifier depending on you how much thick do you want then just scale them along the x and y axis and just start try to create a good shape good form for your mesh then you can add the sub d modifier so just add the sub d surface modifier and its level should be 2 and then you need to add the loop cuts which will support your geometry and we will which will give you the right form for your mesh and then you need to add the loop cuts like this in this case you can use the symmetry also so just you need to add these kind of loop cuts to the one side and then you can take the symmetry that's possible so just add a loop cuts like this and then select everything and then mesh and then symmetry you can press a to select everything select all and then you need to take the symmetry one more time then one more time select everything press a and then you need to take the mesh and then symmetry from the different axis like if you take the first symmetry from the y axis then now you need to take the symmetry from the x axis and then you will get this kind of cup kind of shape you can say you know that paper cups this kind of shape you will get then add loop cuts just to tight this geometry so you can add the more loop cuts if you want to make it even topologies it will be good if you have the even topology on your maze then it will be good for the UV editing UV unwrapping UV unwrapping for that you can use this kind of topology and it's good then you need to scale it along the X or Y axis depending on your mesh so here I have scaled it along the Y axis and you can move around to orbit around your mesh and see just where you need to add the loop cut so I think here I need to add the loop cut so just add a loop cut here so you can see and switch in your sub D mode and just see your mesh it will look good then go ahead And that's fine so now you can select these faces and you can create a different design on it just here I'm trying to create a good design a simple just using the extrude operation and you can see if I create this kind of extruder then if I turn on the sub D modify it will get weird shape so we need to extrude the whole strip that whole face loop before that just make it straight 
with a scale tool and smooth scale it along the z axis and then add a two loop cuts here and then you need to add array modifier before array modifier we need to add a design on it but we will do the later work with the array modifier and curve modifier so just select this face uh, loop uh, face loops select these all face loops you can go with the symmetry also it doesn't matter and then you need to uh, use another extrude operation like this you need to give the small extrude amount there very small otherwise your edges will overlap and which will give you weird things weird artifacts so make sure your extrude amount that offset amount should be very small and just move around your object and see it's any is there any artifacts weird artifacts then try to reduce that offset amount then one more time use the insert operation just to add more loops there and to tie it your mesh then add more loops here like this you need to add the loop cuts you can go with the symmetry also that's fine And now you can see we have added a small design on it. Very small. That's fine. That's look good. Just here I'm trying to add little bit of design, but okay, it's fine. And then you need to add the array modifier and factor should be in the Z axis and just adjust the factor amount along the z-axis and then you need to increase the count just increase the count how uh, high, how tall you want or how long you want that's fine curve so that's why you need to increase the fact, uh, count there And now that's look pretty well. You can use this kind of hard surface model in the hard surface character to make the different body parts. That's why it's important with the help of Bezier curve you can do something like this. So here just I have duplicate that part and I have delete that array modifier and just you need to rotate it into the 90 degree. And just scale it down and create the top part or you can if you want to if you don't want this kind of part there you can cover it with a different mesh as you can see in the render image uh, in the thumbnail which I have created and uh, and it has taken a long time to make that little bit but you can create a simple one easily if you want if it is visible in your character like the, your both end of that if we, if we call it spy then it's both end are visible in that particular character then you need to cover it with a, this kind of shape as you can see in the render image but if, if it's not visible in that particular character then you can keep it as it is it doesn't matter so that's also important thing you don't need to create the too much complex things if it's not necessary if are they if they are not visible in your particular model character and uh, if uh, if you call it spine then it will be in the back of that character and that spine shape will be visible the center middle mid part that spine kind of shape it's both end won't be the visible in that particular character so you can keep them as it is so just here I'm trying to create just for the tutorial purpose and I have created that if you want to fix it in the such kind of shape in the robot and the chain and such kind of things then you can create it like if you want to create a tail then that's fine you 
your one end will be visible and your another end won't be visible so which will be joined to the back of the your uh, animal or animal heart space character and just the one end will be visible so that time you don't need to create this kind of covers because you can see the bottom end has a good shape if you want more design on then you can definitely go for it you can create uh, this uh, with this kind of modeling method that spine kind of shape you can create tail of any hard surface animal you can create a uh, spine of any hard surface character you can create create a chain you can create uh, a reptile like a uh, anaconda why not So then you need to add the curve modifier and add a bezier curve in your mesh like this and then you need to rotate it into the 90 degree and then scale that bezier curve it should be larger than your that spine shape. With the help of curve modifier we will add a bend in your mesh in that spine. If you want to keep that part then you can otherwise you can delete that bottom part and I tried that to rotate that part with the curve but it's not happened just you need to if you add the curve modifier in that particular part also then you can do that otherwise it's fine just so just you need to add the curve modifier in that spine kind of shape and then add that basic curve in that particular curve modifier and then you need to move that 
your spine kind of shape along the Z axis and just adjust its position. That's also an important thing. And one more thing you can uh, deform that, uh, basic, uh, that spine kind of shape if you want more smaller in the particular if uh, in the top or bottom you can use the lattice that's also one thing with the help of lattice modify you can deform it so you can see here i tried with the parenting but it's not work uh, in a proper way and now you can add the simple with the by bending that basic curve you can add the deform in it so if I parent them and I try to bend that particular part then it's not happened because those top and bottom part won't have that kind of curve modifier and it should be necessary that they also should have that curve modifier. Then just select your curve and then edit, go to the edit mode and add a simple bend in your curve and you can give the any kind of shape for that curve. Your spine will act according to it, according to your curve modifier curve and then just need to fix these parts according to the position of your that spine. And that much you need to do if you add the curve modifier in those spine also, maybe they will work. You can keep this part otherwise you can delete that part also it doesn't matter and now you can see our mesh looks pretty well decent kind of hard surface modeling spine modeling we have done here 